Hey everyone, Will here from Mature Money Gamers, and today we're going to be going through this setup for Stardew Valley, the board game. This one is from Cole Medeiros and Concerned Ape. So let's take a look at how to set it up. First, you're going to place the board in the center of your playing area. You're then going to take the deck of villagers cards, give these a good shuffle, and place them beside the board. You're then going to take all of your item cards, again giving them a good shuffle, and then placing them beside the board. You're then going to take all of your epic item cards, again giving them a good shuffle, and placing them beside the board. Next, the event cards, giving them a good shuffle, and placing them again beside the board. And last but not least for this setup, you're going to be doing the mini events, giving them a good shuffle and placing them beside the board as well. Next, you're going to take your tile tray and you're going to make sure that everything is sorted. There is a page in the rule book that tells you exactly where everything goes. There should be four of each of these. You want to make sure the star side is on the bottom of these resources. There should be four of each. You're then going to place this beside the table with reach of everyone. Next, you're going to take this blue bag and placing all of the fish tokens and the fish tiles inside of this bag. And there are a lot, a lot of these fish tokens. Next, you're going to be taking all of your artifact and minerals and placing them inside of the gray bag and ensuring that these are all shuffled as well. Placing both of these beside the board. You're going to go back to your tile tray and you're going to find the turnip token. You're going to be taking one of those, looking at the watermark, which is two, and you're going to be placing this in the two, spec two spot in the farm. Next, you're going to be taking these pink forgeable tokens. There are 11 of these and you're going to be looking for the mushroom indicator across the map. And you're going to be placing, after a good shuffle, you'll be placing one of these in each of those respective locations. Next, you're going to be taking the four spring tree tokens and you're going to be placing these in the locations that are marked with a tree stump. There should be four of those down here by the river. Then you're going to be seeing what fish are in season by taking the blue bag, reaching in and drawing five of these at random, placing these in the corresponding place on the fish track. Now facing doesn't really matter for these as they're the same on both sides. Next, you're going to be taking the levels cards and you're going to make sure that these are all sorted from 1 all the way to 12. Placing these in that order on the corresponding spot on the level. You're next going to take the maps cards. You're going to give these a good shuffle. You're going to put them on the map spot on the board, flipping over the top card. Next, you're going to be preparing your seasons deck and you're going to start with the cards that are the pink back with the flower. These are the spring season cards. You're going to shuffle these up and take four out. For your first game, it is recommended that you play with the four cards that have that little symbol in the bottom right. Once you take these four cards, give these a good shuffle. Place them on top of the card that says the last day of spring, placing them on top. You're then going to prepare the other seasons in the same manner, doing the summer, the fall, and the winter, ensuring that the final, the last day of each of those seasons is the last card in each of those four. You're going to be taking those cards and placing them on top of the calendar here on the board. You're then going to be taking the community center cards. They do have some different rooms. So for example, we're going to be taking this card first, but it's called the craft room, giving these a good shuffle, drawing one at random, placing it on top of the craft room spot, face down pantry cards, fish tank cards, one bulletin board cards, the vault cards, as well as the boiler room cards, making sure that you grab one at random and ensuring that they are face down. You're then going to prepare grandpa's goals, taking these cards that have the envelope, giving these a good shuffle, taking four at random, 
and playing them face up in the corresponding spot on the board over here. These are your victory conditions for how you win the game. You're then going to prepare your animals and buildings. You're going to take the four tokens that is sheep, goat, cow, and cow, placing these in a stack next to the game board. Placing the, board, the barn token on top of that one with the uh, money and the wood resource on the top, right on top of those. You're then going to take the chicken, the chicken, the duck, and the rabbit, doing the same thing for those, placing them next to it, taking the coop card, and placing that on top of that stack. Next, you're gonna take the other buildings. You're gonna give these a good shuffle. You're gonna draw two at random, placing these next to the board as well. These are the buildings that you can build during this game. Each player is then gonna take one of these player boards. You could either have a profession of farming, fishing, foraging, or mining. Each player takes one of these that they choose, places that in front of them. You're then going to take the corresponding matching pawn, which in this in instance we chose mining is red. We're going to take the red pawn and place this on our board. Each player is then going to go around and pick their starting tools, whether that be the hoe, the watering can, the pickaxe, or the fishing rod. Once you have chosen your starting tool, then you're going to take these, this, these deck of cards, these five cards. You're going to find the one that is the starter card with the zero in the top left, placing that face up, and you're going to take those and place that on the starting tool on your player board here. Whoever recommended playing the game of Stardew Valley will then give this token to a player. That player will be the start player. It has a dog side or a cat side. Collectively, the players have three gold to start. You're going to place that in the general area. You're going to gather all of the hard tokens, and you're going to place this next to the play area as well. And that's the setup for Stardew Valley. Please join us here soon for a video of how to play and uh, our final thoughts and review. So be sure to check out all of our other great content on MatureMindedGamers.com. So until next time, everyone stay safe and take care.